Riders. First, Bobby Adler Farmers Insurance, Thomas Swenson, right corner. He's the Wayne Independence Florida Combat League 125 pound champion. Bobby Adler, the 719 fight team in Colorado Springs, Colorado. He's the Broken Agent, the champion. And fighting out of the West Tall Tavern Blue Corner from Jackson Week MMA out of 50 New Mexico, the challenger, Jesse the Tornado Tornado. This one the 25 pounds out of the schedule for three three minute rounds with three is Eric Hines. Ron, we can expect a fast start here as we have our champion AJ Robb wearing the black and white trunks facing off against Jesse Tafoya wearing the all black trunks. Robb represents 719 Fight Team. Tafoya represents Jackson Wink MMA in this 125 pound title fight. And I do want to say right up top, Mr. Robb missed weight. So if he wins the fight, he vacates the title, does not become the, uh, or rather, does not retain his title. And Tafoya, if he wins the fight, he gets the title because he did make weight and he would have beaten the champion in that case. Oh my God, what a fight is yeah. going on in here. I wanted to try to get all that in before this started because I knew we were going to have this kind of a scrap to get it going. Oh my goodness, look at this chaos in here. Jesse Tafoya looking to snack a heel hook right here on A.J. Robb, but A.J. Robb staying real calm in there. Robb doing a good job keeping that knee bent. He's going to try to step backward or come up all the way tall and go limp leg to get out of there. And uh, Robb has snared a leg of his own, but he's not working for any kind of a lock. He's just trying to control the body. Now coming up on top is Robb. And for those of you wanting to have some knees here, again, this is an amateur or an elimination fight. No knees to the head at any time. If you've never had a chance to watch A.J. Robb fight, it's like watching a hurricane come through the gym. And he's landing hard, hard shots. Hard shots and... <laughs> Thank you, sorry. <laughs> hard shots and I think there was a strike to the back of the head. I think that's what, that's what they're stopping him for. Give us one second. Okay, so it was a grab, cage grab, grab, and he had been warned earlier because of it. Yep, that's and exactly what we have. I think that's unfortunate because Tafoya had a, uh, a submission attempt going on there, and he lost position because of Rob's... Uh, Oh, my oh. goodness, and Rob going to work with the punches. Let's see if Tafoya can recover here. Rob getting some hard shots underneath the arm. Oh. Comes over on top and continues to flurry AJ with the punches. Rob. And Tafoya looking at the referee like maybe he wanted a little help there for a second. I saw that, and too. And Rob continuing with this brutal ground and pound attack. And believe me, he oh. has the energy to continue oh. it. And that's going to be it. Congratulations, AJ Rob. Goes home with the TKO win late in round number one in what was our most furiously paced fight of the night. AJ Robb is a beast! What a finish right there from AJ Robb. The power, the explosiveness, the intensity, the rage, the abilities that this kid brings to the cage are just something special. Something special. The power that the man possesses in both hands, and especially when they are in a firefight like that. AJ Robb is something else. And let me tell you something, Jesse Tafoya is nothing to sneeze at. This kid came in here and he fought one of the scarier guys here pound for pound in Colorado and AJ Robb, but he put on a hell of a showing for himself too. And he delivered a great fight as well. I mean, he, he tested AJ Robb, make no mistake about it. But AJ Robb is like watching an M80 go off. 
devastating power when he lands. Unbelievable fury in the cage. Wow. Taking me a minute to get my blood pressure back down. <laughs> Fight doc, Dr. Alex Constantinidis, taking a good look at Jesse Tafoya right now, making sure he's okay. Seems to be okay. And the class right there shown by Jesse Tafoya and the sportsmanship indicative of Jackson Wink fighters across anywhere, any platform, any promotion that they fight in. They are, uh, they are class acts. We're going to go ahead and kick it up to Sean for the official announcement. At one minute, 43 seconds of land, number one referee, Hines has got his tap to this fight due to TKO, resulting in a victory, but unfortunately due to a misweight, the belt becomes vacant. Your winner tonight, AJ I know it's a moot point, you don't want to talk about it a lot, but we're going to bring it up anyways. Obviously, it's tough to vacate the belt after missing weight, tough weight cut, obviously. Uh, yeah, uh, I fought my last two fights at 30 pounds, um, a lot bigger when I first started, so I wanted to see if I could make it back to 125. I'm talking about this, I'm almost done, I'm going to get back to 125, so obviously, I'm not going to wait for the private committee anymore, I'm getting to that big, so 135 is where I come, here I am, let's do this. I don't know if anybody's going to watch you after that performance tonight. Uh, a lot of emotion into that one tonight. Uh, yeah, he was, he was probably one of, the, one of the first guys I ever had you know, in my face talking shit. Like, absolutely no respect him before, but if any respect him now. That sure seems that way, doesn't it? All right, back to 135, certainly going pro anytime soon. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I don't know, I, I might take one more Emmy fight at 135, see how I feel. And after that, I'm definitely looking to go pro again. It's really, I'm finally going to make it this MMA thing. This is me, this is my life. Certainly, man. Some people you want to thank before you go, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank Seth on my fight team. We out here grinding. I'd like to thank the arena. Keep me in tip top shape. I'd like to thank God. Of course, God, thank God. I'd like to thank my mother, father, my girlfriend, my grandma, my uncles, my family. All my friends, all my people support me. Yeah, we're going to have to like three times. Everybody comes to court, everybody's on their dreams. Well, and I warned him over there. Of course, that's the event today. Check that out. We're doing it. We're doing the damn thing. Congratulations on the victory. Thanks for being classy. Give it up.